we traded in our we traded in our truck and couldn't pull our fifth wheel anymore and we couldn't find a camper that could sleep five of us and be pulled by our vehicle so we bought a six and a half by 12 foot cargo trailer which is also seven foot tall we added a window we have the solar on the ground like this instead of mounted on the roof because we like to park in the shade um, and that way we can run a cord out to where the sun is we've got mounts up here to put our propane tanks we have shore power here so if we're at a park we can plug into the electricity the door came with the RV style door so we did not have to add that we added a magnetic screen door so we can keep the bugs out we added another window on this side down here we have our deck that we put blocks underneath on the corners so that it was level my husband built this rolling bar that the wheels lock so we could move it in and out of the camper he built a little bridge here so to speak to fill the gap between the door and the main camper and this is where we will use half of the bed for a table. We can see all five of us around that. Got the microwave up there. The bed folds up on both sides so it's flat against the wall. This here he created so that we could have it in table mode on the top hook or bed mode. Or we can go down here and we can set it lower so it's more like a bench. So if the kids need to relax or you just want a place to chill without being in bed, you can have it on a bench setting. We've got the TV in the back. DVD player still needs put into the cupboard. Mm -hmm. um, the TV has Roku on it so we can entertain the kids if we need to. If it's raining, the sink... Um, is hooked up. We've got an RV pump underneath so that we can have running water. There will be a compost toilet that goes in this space. And we hung this curtain so that you can pull it across and have privacy for either the bathroom or if you're changing your clothes. This side of the bed pulls up to look just like this side. I'm going to pause the video real quick so we can set it up and set the bed up and you can see what that will look like. So this is what the bed will look like when it's up. We've got four inches of memory foam and the kids have mats down there that they will sleep on and of course we'll all have our sleeping bags. My husband just finished putting on this peel and stick tile today so it'll be nice and easy to clean. When we want to pack it all up, or if it's raining, we need to put it away for the night, anything. Just rolls back into the back of the camper and locks in. They're also cooking this position. Yep, there's going to be a cook top on top of that rolling bar as well, and a coffee maker. I have to have my coffee. What can I say? Electric skillet. Um, when we get the mosquito netting, I think I'm going to put some... Um, Velcro or something along here to hook the mosquito netting to so it stays and then it can go along that top ridge as well that's about it for now um, we still have some lights to hook up and a few other things to finish but we're hoping to take it out camping next week we hope you got some ideas for your conversion